Castro Valley High School journalism students and their awesome teacher stepped into the dream world of Pixar Animation Studios. Pixar is best known for its production of the incredible animation films like Up and Inside Out. We received the honor to tour the studios with award-winning producer Jonas Rivera. After our VIP tour with Rivera, we had the honor to sit down and interview the man himself about his recent successes and his road from CVHS to becoming a world-renowned producer for Pixar. Hi, I'm Brittany Bracey from the Cache Valley High School Olympian. I'm here at Pixar Animation Studios with Jonas Rivera, executive producer of the Academy Award-winning film Inside Out, and more importantly, a graduate of Cache Valley High School. Thanks for meeting with us, Jonas. Thank you. Okay, and just got a few questions for you. First off, after finding out that you are a part of CVHS alumni, a lot of students have been dying to ask you, what are some of your favorite memories from CVHS? <laughs> That's a good question. I, I have so many memories of high school. I graduated in 89, which was a great year. It's the year the Oakland A's won the World Series. So I apologize to all the teachers. I may have missed a few days that year as I snuck off to some of those games. I'm sorry for that, and don't do what I did. Um, I, I, you know, Castro Valley High, I grew up in Castro Valley, I grew up on James Avenue, right by the high school, and uh, it, it is, that place and that town has shaped who I am, and I still, my, my best friends I met in high school, I, they're still my best friends, I still see them literally once a week, we go out and get dinners, so um, everything about the school, the art class, I had an art class with Miss Cowell, uh, Colleen Cowell, I don't think she's there anymore, but she was the one at school that was, that kind of, taught us that you know school can be whatever you want it if you like art if you like film if you like music you can make things and i wasn't a good artist but i loved that that spirit and i followed that and i think that was one of the steps that led led me to this career so i'm i'm very grateful for that awesome and my teacher said that you used to have long hair is that true or is it just a rumor that's true that is not a rumor i had it was 89 it was 1989 i had uh Long hair. I was playing in rock and roll bands. We played in the. We played at school a few times. Caused some problems, but had a great time. Uh, yes, I did. I was. I wanted to be. That was my goal. Is I wanted to be a rock and roll. I wanted to play in music. I wanted to play in a hard rock band, and I gave it a really good shot. But uh, yeah, that all happened at, embarrassingly. There's probably photos too. I'm sure, but uh, don't judge me. Not judge. So, also coming from a small town like Castro Valley, what's it like working in such a big franchise now? It's, yeah, it's, it's funny because Pixar was also a small, like I went from Castro Valley High School and I went to school, I went to Cal State Hayward and then I ended up going to San Francisco State and in the film program there. And then I interned at Pixar and, and Pixar in those days was not this. There was 150 people, it was in a little mom and pop grocery store of a, not literally, but of a building. It was just small. And so I grew up with this company. Uh, and I've, as I've seen it grow, and I've gone with it, and I've gotten to do amazing things, or lucky, but be associated with amazing films, I always kind of look back on Castro Valley. Like, there's something about Pixar that even though we've been really successful here and people have done really well, everyone here is, f like, it's where they're from. You know, everyone remembers where they're from and tries to keep it small in a way. Some of that makes sense. But even though we're big, we try to act like, we're a small independent film company. So we've tried to not let any of this affect us, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's definitely grown. Now, I know it's gotta be super cool working for Pixar, but you also have this awesome family who inspires you. So can you maybe tell us what's a day like in the exciting life of Jonas Rivera? Oh my gosh, well, yeah, I have an amazing family. My days usually start very early when my kids, William, Elsa, and Ava, are running into my room and telling me I have to help fix the broken Lego toy or something. It's always some crazy thing. Um, I'm here every day. I get here early, drop my kids at school, and I come into Pixar. And depending on where we are in production, like right now I'm in development. We just finished up Inside Out. And so now we're starting a new yeah, Inside Out. And then we're starting a new film, and there's only like three of us on it. So it's very quiet. We're up in one story room trying to come up with new ideas and pitch that to the studio and uh, just doing my best to support all the other shows. When we're in production, like on the height of Inside Out, I was never in my office. I was never, I was in a meeting and screening rooms and technical reviews and trying to help the film get made frame at a time. So my days are always crazy, always packed, but they vary depending on the season of production. Cool. So a lot of people are wondering, how's the movie producing process? Like, is it really stressful or just a lot of fun or a mix of both? Because it seems like you get to meet a lot of super cool people and do a lot of cool things. 
Yeah, it's, I think it's the greatest job in, in the world. And kind of going back to the, you, <laughs> like being in rock bands almost, where I realized what I loved about that and why I wanted to do that was I loved putting on shows. I mean, at the end of the day, that's, that's what, that was the excitement about it. And then when that wasn't really going anywhere and I fell into animation, I realized, oh, my job as a producer, as a production person, is the same thing. You're just helping put on a show. You're, you, you've got, in the case of a movie, 350 people all contributing one little thing here, one little thing there. And my job is to keep it organized and help the big ideas turn into actionable ideas that we could make and put on the screen. Casting the actors, working with the actors, the composer, all the animators, the technical scientists, everybody. And I get to kind of be the coach of that a little bit and help prioritize the work. And when you see the movie come together and ultimately in the theater, it's the greatest feeling in the world because you feel like, you got to make something and hopefully something that means something to people, you know? Awesome. Um, out of all of the award shows you've been to and all the awards that you have received, what achievement are you most proud of so far in your career? I, there's been, I've been so lucky. I mean, I've worked on all these films and there's two things that I think um, come to my mind. One was for both films I produced, Up and Inside Out, we got to, uh, op Up, we opened, and Inside Out, we presented the film at the Cannes Film Festival, which is very rare for an animated film. And, and uh, that was one of the greatest honors, to be there among all the cinematic leaders of the world and the great directors, not just from this country, but all around the world, and to show an animated film. And they loved it there, and the movie opened there, and uh, that meant a lot to us. Because we believe at Pixar that animated movies aren't just for kids. We believe that animated movies are just films that happen to be animated, right? In other words, it's a medium, it's not a genre. So playing the film at the Cannes Film Festival sort of redeemed that for us. It felt like we were there with Pedro Almodovar and, and uh, Spielberg and, you know, all these great directors, and that was a great honor. I mean, the, I never dreamed any of it would end with me at the Academy Awards with my friend Pete and, and our wives, and, and that, I can't lie, that was the greatest thing I've ever experienced, getting to walk up there and grab that, that thing for Inside Out, that, you know, to represent the crew I work with. That was the greatest honor. I, that, that sort of, I, I underestimated how emotional and powerful that was. That was really something. Great. Guess it's safe to say that Pixar owes all of their success to you? <laughs> that's what my mom says, <laughs> and you, but that's not true. It's very nice, but it's so collaborative here. It's, uh, I think that's the key to its success, is this is a real partnership from everybody. Everybody contributes. Uh, there, there's not one single driver. There's directors and producers, but the real work is done by the artists and the crews, and I'm proud to, to help represent that. Okay. Um, also, we were wondering, do you have any tips or advice for the students of Cache Valley High School or any other students who may be interested in media or film or just for success in general? Yeah, I do. Um, and this sounds, this is very easy to say, and I get it, but um, I remember being around a lot of kids, loved film or loved music or loved anything, and a lot of pe people talk about things, right? But very few people do it. Like, even if you don't, I don't mean like, do it at Pixar, but just like that, my version of it was playing music. Like I didn't even know what I wanted to do, but I wanted to make things. And so instead of just talking about it, I started a band. We made things, and that led. I I I'm, I never doubt this. That led me. That process lit me up and led me here. So my advice: if there's something you love, writing, journalism, film, music, just do it. Find a way to do it. Do it cheap. Do it quick and iterate. Um, Someone said that I, that I work with here, it's like they, they were learning to be an artist and they had um, shown their art teacher their drawings and they said, what do you think? And he said something along the lines of, that's great, you have to do about 100,000 bad drawings before you can get to the great one. So every single drawing or every single step leads you eventually to the level you need to be at. So every day that someone waits to start making anything, I think is a day kind of wasted, right? So that's, it sounds corny and like a bit of a Nike commercial, I don't mean it to be, but it is just to do things. Great, thanks a lot. Yeah. And um, closing up here, everyone must be so proud of you. We've got to ask, what's your next big hit movie going to be that you will be involved in? Are you going to give us any hints, any details? Well, I can't give details on the next one we're doing, but I can say at Pixar, 
thank you first of all it's very nice you the the, the um there's never been more at, uh, coming at pixar we've got five to seven movies in various stage of development and production the next movie is finding dory which is a long time coming everyone's so excited about it and you guys will not believe it when you see it it's days from being done right in this building um we've got toy story 4 we're working on you guys know the incredibles are at it again we've got a new original one called coco and then a bunch of stuff too early too early to talk about including one that we're trying to kick around so come back and i'll tell you more um, well, that's it, everyone. You heard it from here, here from us first at the Olympian. Be sure to check out Jonas's new film if you haven't already, Inside Out. And thanks a lot, Jonas. We'll be looking forward to meeting with you again. Thank you so much. Thanks.